don't be ashamed of believing God. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. May the Lord grant mercy to the household of Onesiphorus, for he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. Paul wrote the second letter to Timothy from a Roman prison. It was more a personal letter to him to encourage him of the ministry that was entrusted to him. He wanted Timothy not to lose his zeal for God. He was writing about his friend Onesiphorus so he would know how he helped him in the ministry at Ephesus. It was a difficult time for the apostle, made more difficult by trusted friends who abandoned him in his hour of need. Everyone in the province of Asia had deserted him, including Phygelus and Hermogenes. In stark contrast to these deserters was Onesiphorus. He stayed with Paul through thick and thin. In fact, Onesiphorus went out of his way to track down Paul and visited him in prison. In doing so, he showed great personal courage and compassion for the apostle. It was dangerous to be called a Christian in Rome in those days. As a matter of gratitude, Paul wrote about his unashamed proclamation that he was a follower of Jesus and prayed for him. He prayed that the Lord would be merciful to him and his family. It was customary for Paul to thank God and pray for his companions in ministry. However, Onesiphorus was way more special because he became the source of support when everyone deserted him. If you personally believe in Jesus and support those who earnestly serve him, never be ashamed to be with them and proclaim your faith in God. God will honor you without a doubt. Don't be ashamed of believing God. Amen.